Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to set up a heal bot and we're going to do that through macro quest off of red guides. So let's log into the server here quick. I'll just kind of show you. Go to red guides website. I, I have an account here so but not only do they have a bunch of stuff on multi-boxing and a bunch of stuff on macros and everything else, one of the things they have is this Red Guides launcher, and that makes installing it easy because there are other forms of macro quest that you can get. But in this section here, they have public things that can be downloaded, and then the, all the private stuff, which is a monthly membership. I don't know if it's like four or five, nine dollars a month, whatever. But it's got my SEQ, which is the pretty much eyes or vision. You can see what's on the map, what level it is, spawn times, and all that fun stuff but the spread guides launcher here actually looks like this application here and once you're logged in it's pretty easy see the last time I installed this was June 11 and to update it I just click the update button and then it will go through and update it and here's my SEQ which like I also got a bunch of updates and data I haven't been playing so let's update this stuff quick downloading installing all that fun stuff yeah so red guides is it's pretty much a multi-boxing community they happen to have like a version of mac request that doesn't have all like the hacks and cheats and warps and stuff like that it's a pretty basic one the, the version of mac request that's at red guides kind of simulates having a uh, mercenary so when you're playing early on in game or without mercenaries you can kind of run macro quests and automate a lot of the gameplay they're also working on some other cool stuff here this ion bc true box thing it's kind of made with uh the tlps in mind now you can run mac request on the tlps uh red guys doesn't support it but it does work in some function but this broadcasting stuff that we're working on here is actually pretty exciting uh, you can figure it look kind of like a little server uh, between all of your characters clients and then you'll be able to use macros off other characters that you have while playing them so like say you have a, sh a shaman or, or whatever that you're boxing uh inside these this chat channel you're basically able to put like a hotkey on your main character's bar to your main window as you can kind of see here and you'll have access to all these different buttons here which are basically macros on your other other screens so you'll be able to you know assist and slow or assist and nuke just by playing off your main account here you'll just be able to press these and that will send a command uh, across the server out to another one of your characters and it'll basically press that macro for you that's something cool that they're working on However, not what we're going over today. Today we're setting up a heal bot, so you can see all my stuff is actually installed. Um, this is important here to know where this MQ folder is because the configuration in here is what we're gonna be configuring for this heal bot. So you just take this character, El Porter here as a druid, and we go into the config folder. So when we actually run MQ for the first time off this character, it'll create a kiss assist file in here. Gotta move this out of the way here. So once MQ is actually installed, we gotta launch MQ. Bring up a little window like this. That means that it's actually running. And I don't have any hotkeys set up because I don't uh, use this off this account. But basically, Mac Kiss Assist will run the Kiss Assist macro is what we wanted to do. And it set this character right here, which is not my character as the main. But we'll type slash end here and it's ended what we're going to look at though is the file that it created we'll open this up and here we see l porter and one of the easiest ways to configure this file i'll go through it here a little bit but if you go to actual almer's guides and, and i'm not affiliated with almer's guides in any any fashion and you just type like in search like almer's guides druid kiss assist it'll pretty much get you to where you're going but uh well, druid kiss assist files so it has it for a lot of these and some of these you know obviously depending on when they're made it will have spells that maybe don't exist but this is a good baseline you could actually go in here and just copy this file out so this is for a level 50 druid they have them for pretty much every class and they got all the buffs on so there's six buffs that it will cast and then uh the melee is off aes off dps is on it looks like it's going to cast snare once the mobs at 50 percent so this heal bot would also be snaring you could turn that off for heals force renewal see something that uh, doesn't exist so we'd have to change that make sure that we're using the stuff that we do have so the heal that i have is actually greater healing so you could copy out sections if you wanted if that file was actually relevant so first let me just grab some of these buffs because you're also going to want your buffs to be buffed bot. So we'll grab buffs 1 through 6 and we'll replace buffs 1 through 6 here. Probably don't even have these spells. Legacy of Spike, Pack, Chloroplast. So I'll take that back. So we'll just turn buffs on and then we'll look and see what kind of buffs I actually have. The so HP I got skin like nature. Again I haven't, I haven't played this character since Classic was out. So buff 1 skin like nature and we'll just set it to the main. And the MA 
His main assist is what we actually target or what we actually run the macro on. And then maybe we're gonna want, say, maybe just some regen. Oh, I do have pack chloroplast, so that's good. Already memorized, so buffs, pack, chloroplast, main. And we'll save that, so let's watch what happens here. We'll just pick this guy, and we'll run the run it. It's great to show you what it does for buffs. So right now it's trying to cast skin like nature on the main, as you can see here, and it will auto recast this once it wears off, but so it buffed in that. And the next thing it's going to do is pack chloroplast, also on the main. You can set these to self, you can set them to group, like etc. So now he's got that. Those are the two buffs that it's going to do. The other thing that it's going to do, uh, so we don't have the DPS on, but we're going to go to this heals, we'll turn the heals on. The heals I have are greater healing, and this is the percentage it will cast it at, and this is who it's casting on. So it'll cast greater healing at 90% on the main target. And also, it's good to keep this on. This is X target heals, and we're gonna do slots. I do slots four slash five. Oops, four and five. And what that is is these kind of targets here. So if, if you were to say want to heal other stuff besides like the main, the current target. This is you know one, two, three. This is number four. This guy could be current target number five. So you could set, you know, even go back to this file and set up multiple X targets. See a bunch of them in this list here, and it would also watch these guys now because they're not the main. You have to probably put another line in, but pretty much everybody else, you could even say, cast greater healing, 85, yada yada yada. Uh, obviously these guys aren't fighting, so it's not going to heal. Once you make the changes, you're going to want to redo your kiss assist macro. So now it's set this guy as the main, and it's going to try to buff him, and then when the heals are already set. So there's a lot of stuff you could do, and a lot of configuration things. That's the main form you can check out. Um, Elmer's Guides is a really good resource for this. And like I said, this macro quest is not entirely supported on TLPs by Red Guides. However, you should still take a look at joining even with the free membership the Red Guides community because it is a multi-boxing group more than it is uh, a macro quest group. There's a lot of different stuff in there for multi-boxing and uh, if you remember on the actual live servers where multi-boxing is legit uh, there's more support for using things like macro quest but early on in the TLPs macro quest is good for basically giving you a configurable mercenary until mercenaries are added in the game but yeah lots of config that you can do with this lots of different things and the other thing you can do is like say you don't want to multi-box like when you're actually using follow this is better than just a slash follow command this this will actually try to do an advanced pathing and follow exactly where this character goes. So it'll take the same footsteps. Um, just lots of configuration options here. And you can also go into just Google and be like, kiss, assist, guide. And here's all the instructions and stuff that you can set up. Once again, this is free stuff in the forums here at Red Guys. Got all the different options and everything else. But the way that I just showed you is very simple just to make a heal bot. You know, have them follow around your other character. You don't really have to play them. You just launch the Mac request and put it on follow. Set your heals, set your buffs, and it will just follow you around and heal and buff you. And you can focus on playing your main character, which is kind of the point of the video. Make a little heal bot. Uh, while we're here, might as well just check the server population. All right, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. We got P99, we got TLP, we got private servers and test that's free. Some of us pay, some of us don't, some of us play, some of us won't. Did you just break my mess? Did you just train me? Did you just miss a healing? Are you gonna rest me? And please I need a sow, and please I need a rest. Please I need that sword, I'll take what you got. 